Good evening. This is Coraline and Lito de Tarle from the St. Mary of the Assumption Catholic Church in Hocassin, Delaware. We are on day 44 of our 54-day Rosary Novena. We give thanks for our courageous and heroic church and country with joy in truth and in God's power. We give thanks for the inalienable and immutable dignity of human life, the sanctity of the family, religious freedom, and for our president and our government. We give thanks too for a healthy economy, the growth in charity, unity, and peace. We pray for the intentions we hold in our hearts and for the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Please feel free to use our chat box for your intentions. Before we start the rosary, let us meditate on God's word. Our reflection is from dailyscripture.net. And he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. And he was teaching daily in the temple. The chief priests and the scribes and the principal men of the people sought to destroy him, but they did not find anything they could do, for the people hung upon his words. Luke chapter 19, verses 45 to 48. In this incident, we see Jesus' startling and swift action in cleansing the temple of those who were using it to exploit the worshipers of God. The money changers took advantage of the poor and forced them to pay many times more than what was right, in the house of God no less. Their robbery of the poor was not only dishonoring to God, but unjust toward their neighbor. His act of judgment aims to purify the worship of God's people and to discipline their erring ways. Despite the objections of the religious leaders, no doubt, because Jesus was usurping their authority in the house of God, the people who listened to Jesus teaching daily in the temple regarded him with great awe and respect. Luke tells us that they hung upon Jesus' words. If we approach God's word with a humble, attentive heart and with a willingness to be taught by the Lord, then we are in a good place to allow God's word to change and transform us in the likeness of Christ. The Lord wants to teach us his ways so that we may grow in holiness. The Lord both instructs and disciplines us in love to lead us from the error of our sinful ways to his truth and justice. God disciplines us for our own good, and we may share that we may share in his holiness. The Lord calls us to be holy people who worship him with reverence and gratitude for his great mercy and kindness towards us. Let us allow God's word to transform us in his way of love and holiness. Lord Jesus, you open wide the door of your house and you bid us to enter confidently that we may worship you in spirit and truth. Help us to draw near to you with gratitude and joy for your great mercy. May we always revere your word and give you acceptable praise and worship. Let us now begin the rosary. The sorrowful mysteries of the Holy Rosary of our Blessed Virgin Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In thanksgiving, <clears throat> hail, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother Mary, hail. At thy feet we gratefully kneel to offer thee a crown of roses, blood-red roses, to remind thee of the passion of thy divine Son, with whom thou didst so fully partake of its bitterness each bud recalling to thee a holy mystery, each ten bound together with our petition for our particular grace. O Holy Queen, dispenser of God's graces and mother of all who invoke thee, thou canst not look upon our gift and fail to see its binding. As thou receivest our gift, so wilt thou receive our thanksgiving. From thy bounty, thou hast given us the favor we so earnestly and trustingly sought. We despaired not of what we ask of thee, and thou hast truly shown thyself our mother. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For courageous faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For enduring hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For inexhaustible charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Sorrowful Mystery, The Agony in the Garden As Jesus enters the garden with his disciples, he tells them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. The word in New Testament Greek for temptation is pirasmos, which is the same word used to describe the temptations that Satan inflicted on Christ in the desert. With this exhortation in the garden, Jesus signals that the hour of the devil's most severe testing is here. Just as he did not give in to the devil's testing in the desert, Jesus encourages the disciples to resist the testing that they are about to face as they witness their master being arrested, condemned, scourged, and crucified. These words of Jesus also echo the last lines of the Lord's Prayer, which he taught the disciples earlier, and lead us not into temptation. While God may allow people to be tested in order to strengthen their faith, Jesus asks his disciples to pray that they may not enter into those tests in the sense of giving in to them. In other words, they are to pray that they may not yield to the trials they are about to endure. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, as thou and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind this blood-red roses with a petition for the virtue of resignation to the will of God, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Rather than take a stand to protect the innocent Jesus, Pilate cowardly caves into the pressure of the crowd and allows Jesus to be scourged and crucified. In an effort to quell his troubled conscience, Pilate washes his hands in a symbolic gesture, hoping to distance himself from responsibility for Christ's death. History, however, did not let Pilate get away with that. He was immortalized in the creed as a Roman ruler who allowed Jesus to be killed, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. We too, will face choices whether to stand up for what is true, good, or just, or to cowardly go with the pressures of the crowd, the secular culture, or what's popular. Will we stand with Jesus, or will we say with Pilate what is truth and go along with the mainstream, relativistic ways of thinking and living today? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
<clears throat> we bind these blood-red roses with a petition for the virtue of mortification and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, Jesus is crowned with thorns and mocked. Christians will see a great irony in this scene. While the soldiers scoff at Jesus, they have no idea how appropriate their words actually are. Despite their cruel intentions, they unwittingly proclaim the truth of Jesus Christ. He really is the Messiah, the true King of the Jews. The homage these pagan soldiers pay in jest anticipates the sincere honor countless Christians will give Jesus as they worship him as their Lord and King. Most ironically, the soldiers who in their mockery kneel before Jesus will find themselves in the same position of reverence at the Last Judgment, when the words of St. Paul will be fulfilled, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind this blood-red roses with a petition for the virtue of humility, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery. Jesus carries his cross to Calvary. They seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. Luke chapter 23, verse 26. Simon carries the cross behind Jesus. This is symbolic of Christ's teaching about discipleship. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. 
Luke chapter 9, verse 23. While it is that Simon carries Christ's cross by compulsion, a tradition arose that this encounter with the cross of Jesus transformed him and that he and his family eventually became Christian. How do we respond to unexpected crosses that come our way? Like Simon, we might not seek out those crosses, these crosses, but do we embrace them? Do we trust that God can bring some good out of them for us, just as he brings good for Simon of Cyrene? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of <clears throat> our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind these blood-red roses with a petition for the virtue of patience in adversity and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead our souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Consider how the cross does not inhibit Christ's ministry of mercy. Indeed, from there, he performs the most powerful act of forgiveness one could offer forgiving one's enemies. Jesus had been falsely accused, wrongly ridiculed, and unjustly tortured. The Jewish leaders have slapped him, the Roman battalion has scourged him, and now the soldiers have crucified him. Yet Jesus responds with mercy, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Thus, Christ embodies his teaching to love those who have injured us. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. We are called to imitate Christ's merciful response to evils committed against us, to turn injuries into intercessory prayer for those who hurt us. It is not in our power not to feel or to forget an offense, 
but the heart that offers itself to the Holy Spirit turns injury into compassion and purifies the memory in transforming the hurt into intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind this blood-red roses with a petition for the virtue of love of our enemies, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries and the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. <clears throat> Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> In thanksgiving, sweet Mother Mary, we offer thee the spiritual communion to bind our bouquets in a wreath to place upon thy brow in thanksgiving for a courageous and heroic church and country 
with joy and truth and in God's power, which thou in thy love hath obtained for us. Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lord promised St. Gertrude that 1,000 souls would be released from purgatory each time this prayer is said devoutly. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls of purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. Let us pray the pardon and angel <clears throat> prayers of Fatima to console the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, for the conversion of sinners so that violence and war may come to an end and that peace of Christ will reign in the world. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrageous, sacrilegious, and the indifference by which he is offended. By the infinite merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. Let us now pray for our Holy Father's obedience and faithfulness to Christ and His Church. Almighty and everlasting God, have mercy upon Thy servant, Pope Francis, our Supreme Pont Pontiff, and direct him according to Thy loving kindness in the way of eternal salvation, that of Thy gift he may ever desire that which is pleasing unto Thee, and may accomplish it with all his might, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For his intentions, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Church proclaims that human life is sacred, and that the dignity of the human person is the foundation of of a moral vision for society. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit, the giver of life. Come, Holy Spirit, creator of all things, you who breathed over the waters at the dawn of creation and brought forth all living beings, you who filled the apostles when the risen Lord breathed on them the, on the first Easter night, giving them the power to restore life to those dead in sin. You who on the last day will breathe again over all the dead and raise them from the grave. Come, come and breathe on our word again, immersed as it is in the culture of death. Come, O Lord and giver of life, defeat the works of death in our midst that abortion may no longer stain our land. We worship you, O Holy Spirit, and we rejoice in you. We know that no matter how strong the forces of death may be, we can still find in you the endless source of life. Renew that life in each of us and make us worthy apostles of the culture of life in our day. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in our Rosary Novena. Please join us again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Please invite your friends and family to pray with us too. May all of you be filled with the abundance of God's love, peace, and joy. Good night and God bless.